Hi everybody, it's October 15, 2017. The fire is 40 dead. That number, I'm sure, is a lot higher considering we have so many missing in these, in these fires. And while they're more contained, they still rage on. The number of homes still stands at 5,700. Burned, ashes, everything gone. That number, I'm sure, is a lot higher. The evacuations have slowed. Sonoma County officials are beginning to allow people to return to their neighborhoods, and many are really frightened to return because they're scared they're going to be seeing ashes. No home, just ashes. So the Tubbs and Atlas fire are now more than 50% contained. The Nuns fire is 30% contained. There is concern that Tubbs and Nuns fire could merge and there are there's a fire that is about a mile or a hundred miles, a hundred miles. Um, and where is that, that it states that? Because the article title is um, Death Toll Reaches 40, Fires Now 100 Miles Wide. Well, this title comes up differently, so um, can't understand that, but I'll link below. You can click on the link. You can see that that is actually the title of the article, but it's pulling up something different. Um, 100 miles of fire. Still claiming that the winds and the dry conditions have created this kind of tragic loss for so many uh, in California. And it's deliberate. The fire is deliberately created and intentionally allowed to rage on. What really upsets me is listening to videos here on YouTube, people with an awful lot of subscribers who are still reporting, just like mainstream media reports, and even can say that they're not, they're not reporting on the fires and showing the pictures and, and, and talking about the loss because it's just too sad. So I guess they would prefer to bury their head in the sand, turn away from those who are suffering the consequences, because it's easier for them. They don't have to care. And here, Mr. BB333 is talking about what is this uh, little gap here that is forming, and he's using the mimic the high-pressure dome over California, but he doesn't seem to ever want to discuss the deliberate geoengineering and weather being used as a weapon. There are so many channels that never ever mention that. Interesting, huh? Well, one Pacific Redwood has been on it and he reporting the truth of what is taking place in California to allow these fires to continue. Terrorists controlling our weather have again stopped potential for rain. The fires continue. And we can see that low pressure system right up near Oregon and Washington right here, which is spinning. And we should have a continuity of moisture that is flowing around this low and out towards the uh, northeast, 
all right? But that's not happening. We can actually see right in this area. Watch this uh, area of high pressure suddenly appear, which is evaporating. It is evaporating this flow around that low pressure system. And that's why there is zero rain in California right now. Let's take a look at the uh, IntelliCast Doppler map. We can see that there is zero rain in California. And we've got uh, major fires going on in the, in the uh, central California area, which have uh, burned entire neighborhoods. And so the, uh, the terrorists controlling our weather, once again, are stopping the rain. We can see a high pressure blockade right here, which is stopping. Let's, let's look at the big map here. This is the uh, Northeast Pacific water vapor loop. We've got flow here, which is being blocked by this high. This is a stationary high that's been here for a couple of days. And uh, everything is just walling up right into this uh, barricade right here. And look what's happening to the moisture here. It's having to flow out to the uh, north, uh, or rather to the east. Let's put the grid on. You can see that better. So this is sort of a northeast uh, flow pattern here, but it's just walling up, uh, mushrooming into this area of high pressure. That's been installed. This is a man-made transmitter installed uh, blockade right there. All right, and then we have uh, some activity out here by uh, the Hawaiian Islands. And of course, the tail of this moisture is flowing right towards central and southern California. We've got very hazy skies right now which are basically uh, diffused uh, chemtrails uh, that are uh, being sprayed over this uh, moisture field right here as it moves into uh, Southern California. Let's take a look next at the uh, SSCC water vapor map. You can see that flow pattern right here. And this is all moving from the uh, Hawaiian Islands all the way over to Southern and Central California. But look at all the lines right here that are being uh, sprayed. That is the jets ensuring that there's no rain, you would think that with this flow pattern here, it, at the least, at the minimum, we would have overcast skies, cool weather, and high humidity. But instead, we've got a rising uh, barometric pressure. We've got 30.05 right now. I don't have my uh, instrument with me here right at the moment uh, for the uh, dew point and humidity. We'll do that later. I'll put down the caption. But look at this flow pattern. We've got serious fires going on right here in Southern California, or Central California. And uh, the, the uh, terrorists controlling our weather are not allowing any of this weather to develop. No rain for the fires. Deliberate. Weather being used as a weapon. And yet we have these channels with many, many subscribers who never mention it and apparently don't even want to report on things that make them sad. Well, that's why we can't get anywhere. Americans never wanting to face what is just too uncomfortable for them.